All right, everybody. I've had a special request to um, show you how to install mods. And I'm going to give you a very, not super in-depth, but kind of in-depth tutorial on how to do this. It's actually pretty easy in World of Farming Simulator 15 to, uh, they've kind of updated it and made it a very easy process for you to get and install mods. Step one, go to your favorite mod website. I have two that I like. I like the uh, modhub.us. So M-O-D-H-U-B dot U-S. Uh, I know you can't see the bar because of the recording software. I'll try to move this down a little bit. There you go so you can see it. The other one is actually the official Farming Sim website. There's a lot of good stuff on here, and we'll show you where. Uh, if you click on Mods, you can look at all the different mods that are available. You can also, all these categories have stuff under them. So if you go to Beta, these are mods that won't show up on the main page, but they have a bunch of new stuff. Some really cool stuff in here, actually. Um, they've got like, uh, oh, let's say this like case that has front loader arms. Um, different kind of farm truck uh, trailers. These are all under beta. I absolutely love this. I don't know why this is still in beta, but this new Holland Combine CR pack is an amazing mod. So let's go ahead and download one of these mods. Um, I'm going to get it from here, but... You can also do Mod Hub. So just pick one that you like. And Mod Hub is easy. In fact, we'll show you the interface for this too. Let's say I want to download these um, Herculano, Herculino, whatever, Herculano trailers. I just click on download. And then I slide down. And here you can see the download button. I just click that and it'll download it. And I don't really want this trailer, but that's how you do it. So here we're going to grab, let's say we'll grab this Fent Farmer. I've, I've had this before. It's not great, but... Um, we download it, boop, and it goes to the main page, shows us what the tractor looks like, and at the bottom, we find our, or at the top here, we find the download zip version. <laughs> That's all they give you. So we download it, and it's going to go into my downloads folder. So we're going to let that download. It's got, uh, here, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see it. There we go. Uh, it's downloading. It's 14.4 megabytes. Some of the maps are going to be very big, like two to 300 megabytes. So if you have slow internet, it might take you a while to download it. So now we have this downloaded onto our computer, and I'm going to go, I'm going to move this window down a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see your folders. If you don't have this, you can always go to the Start button, and you can go to Computer or My Computer. If you have Windows XP, sorry, <laughs> you have to figure out how to get there. But we, the bottom line is this. We need to get into the computer. Uh, you should have a display that's similar to this, where you have Downloads. And so in downloads, I'm sorry, my recording got messed up there. In the downloads folder, we're going to see the Fent Farmer that we downloaded. And we also see this other mod that I've downloaded. It is a zip file. Now, yours probably won't look like this. It's probably going to look like a folder, kind of like this guy down on the bottom left here. Um, with a little compressed symbol, like it's being squished. I just, I have WinRAR installed because I do a lot of zipping and unzipping. So... Uh, some guys put stuff in RAR, and if you if you download a file like this, you see how this says fentfarmer.zip? If you download one that says .rar, you're going to have to, to install WinZip. You're on your own for that. I'm not going through the process of that. But we have our Fent Farmer file here, okay? It's a zip file. I say copy or cut. Cut will move it. Copy will just copy it. I'm going to actually cut it and move it. And then I come over here to Documents. If you don't have this window in your view... You can also go to here and click on documents here. Okay, same difference. Click on that, and it's going to show us over in the right-hand side here our documents library. And if I look down the list, I'm going to look until I see my games. Okay, I go into my games, and you're going to see some save files, including the Farming Simulator 2015. That's what we're looking for. We're going to double-click on that, and then you're going to see the mods folder. Okay, and I double-click on the mods folder. And now I've got this guy cut, so I'll just have to right click in an empty spot in this folder and say paste. Ding! Our Fent Farmer has now been installed into the Farming Simulator 15. As long as it's a valid um, mod, this will just work. So let's go ahead and take a look in the game. I'm going to close all these things. Boop, boop, boop. And I'm going to double click on Farming Simulator. I'm going to move this up a little bit. There you go. So we're going to stop recording and we're going to go into the farm simulator. All right, so I am in the menu now of the farming simulator. 
And one of the ways I can check to see if the mod actually worked is I can go into options and I can click on the options. And then I click down here on the bottom, see where it says mods. I can click on that. Boop. And we can slide down and you can see here, I've got a ton of mods installed. Here's my Fent Farmer 310 to 312 LSA package. So it did install and it is showing up as a valid mod file. Uh, so if I want to go into the game and actually see the tractors in game, I'm going to have to purchase them. So uh, I happen to have a map where I have millions of dollars. Uh, I sold everything that I had on this map. This was an early game that I played and it was on easy. So I made a lot of money and I just saved this game as a test game. I sold everything and now I keep it as my test one. So I can go in and buy mods and test them out. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to start it. It shouldn't take too long to start because I don't have much equipment and it is a stock map. But it still takes, you know, a minute or two. And there we go. Now, if I press tab, I don't have any tractors. So I'm going to have to go right to the store. Uh, so where did the mods go? If I go into tractors and I look through, well, now, wait a minute. Where are those tractors? Well, they put them in a different menu, and this is where it gets a little confusing. If I go up to the top, I have to click this arrow up under the, I don't know if you can see my arrow moving around, but under the money, where I have $3.4 million, I click on this right arrow, boop, and I click it again, boop, now I have category mods. This is the section of the menu in the store where all the mod tractors that you've downloaded are. So there we go. You can see here I have my three Fent Farmers, the 310, the 311, the 312. So we're going to buy all three of them, take a look at them. Okay, so I've got one of each, right? Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and press tab. We're going to end up at the store. And one of the things I can tell already that I don't like about this mod is that they've adjusted the camera so that it's a telephoto style lens. Um, and so you're zoomed really in close to the tractor. Even when you zoom out, it's kind of, eh, it's not too bad. But it's definitely less field of view than the normal tractors, and I don't like when they do that. So these tractors I will not be keeping. Um, I have certain criteria that I go through when I go through my mods, and we'll go over how to delete this tractor in a minute. But uh, these are, are nicely done. They're not super looking. They're still kind of cartoony looking, but they're not bad. Sounds cool. It's neat how each one says a different name on the front. Uh, I hate all these extra things that they do. Some of you guys might like that, but these stupid... It doesn't tell you what buttons to press, but you can you can mount stuff to them and give them extra tires and all that. But there, yeah, so this is 310, 312, 311. These are not the highest quality tractors I've ever seen <laughs> for mods. They're okay. Uh, you know what? For somebody that made their own model and uploaded it or somebody that worked on a model that was made for this game um, aftermarket, they're pretty good. So I'm knocking on them, but they're really not that bad. They're, they're decent looking. Um, but let's say, okay, so if I grab, let's say, and here's how I do it. I look at, you know, let's look at a Hurleyman, which is a similar tractor size wise. And I look at the details and I look, okay. So the Hurleyman just does not look as cartoony. I look at this tractor, the textures look crappy. It's kind of, I don't know. It's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it, do you see what I'm saying? Like the Fent looks like it's really three dimensional. It has like this look and feel to it that is polished, whereas this guy just looks kind of cartoony. Uh, and that, for me, immediately, um, oh, the tires are probably part of it. Like, look how shiny and kind of, I don't know. Each person has different tastes, but for me, that's just, it's too cartoony looking. <laughs> but, uh, and once again, the camera thing, just that does me in right there. So look at the camera view here. Okay, now let's hop in the Hurleyman. Same angle, look at that. Look how much wider I can see around me. If you don't like a mod, there's one really easy way to do it, okay? So we quit the game, go into options, you go into mods, and you find it in here. And you find your package, and you say delete. Goodbye, Fent Farmer. Yes, I'm really sure I want to delete it. And that's it. And it actually deletes the mod from the folder. So when you do this, it kills the folder or kills the that zip file. Uh, and so that's pretty much it for installing mods. They're, they're very easy to do. Now, maps can get a little more technical because with the map, you might have to download some of these like Chop Straw. Uh, definitely one that you're going to need for most maps is the, uh, the door. Oh, I'm trying to see if I can find it. The animation map trigger, it's called. Um, so you'll see that, you know, when you go to a website and you download a map, it'll usually tell you 
all the mods that you need. Um, there it is, animation map trigger right up here at the top. Um, it'll tell you all the mods that you need to use the map. So, uh, but that's it. So thank you guys. Hopefully that was helpful to you if you're int interested in adding mods because there's a lot of decent mods out there. Um, there's a lot of bad mods out there and you need to be able to manage them and keep track of what you've installed and what you haven't installed. So this interface is nice because I can go through and look at pretty much all the mods that I've installed and go, yeah, I like those. No, I don't like this one and I can get rid of them. You have remove haze. I don't know if I really like that, but okay. I have it on there anyway. Um, and then if you don't like something, you can just come in here and get rid of it. So hopefully that helps you guys be sure to subscribe and I will see you on the field.